Hi, this is Wanda from Lil Rose Artworks. It's been a little while. I've been busy and I'm sure you've been busy as well. It's summer, lots of things to do. I've done a little bit of traveling. I haven't stopped my artwork, but videotaping takes a while, so I haven't had time for that, but I made time for you today. So I'm very happy you joined me today. Today I'm doing a resin piece on top of an acrylic pour. Unfortunately, the whole taping of the acrylic pour, I have absolutely no idea what happened to it. I had it videotaped, I downloaded it, no problem. The next day I went in and it said it didn't recognize the camera. I have no idea what that means. So if anybody can tell me what happened there, I'd appreciate it because I went through the whole thing and it was all there and I was actually doing some editing and then the next day it was gone. So I have no idea. Also, when I was doing my lily pads, didn't recognize that I didn't have enough space on my card. So that's why they magically appeared there. But I'm pretty sure you can figure out how to paint some lily pads. Anyway, what we're doing is an acrylic pour with a resin on top. This is my piece that we're doing today. I hope you enjoy doing it with me. So come on, let's do it. Let's get back into it. Again, as always, please subscribe, like, hit that bell for notifications. That lets you know that when I have a new piece coming up so you don't have to hunt for me. So join me, let's have some fun. All right, this uh, pour is dry. Now, what I will mention, this is the one where I did, just finished, with the latex background, the Mountain Smoke latex uh, interior paint background. And then I used acrylic paints over top. Now, there is quite a bit of cracking in the acrylic paints. Doesn't really appear to be in the latex. But I did use the GAC GAC 800, but I don't know I'm not sure why but I'm totally okay with it because this is again the background to um, my next project and this is what I wanted I think it looks great and I think that looks like water ripples on a pond or whatever the reason I had put the pink is because I will be doing some resin water lilies on here and that is the reflection of the water lilies and so for that I think it's absolutely perfect I'm going to use chalk to put in where I'm going to put my hot glue lines. Most of you know that I do hot glue lines um, to make basically a form for my resin. So what I'm going to be doing right now is just chalking in where I want my um, water lilies to go and lily pads. Oh, just FYI, I use chalk because I don't want pencil lines in, then I try to erase. Chalk works perfectly on this. I'm just going over my chalk lines to create my image. Fill in with acrylic paint so that the resin does, um, shows through better. It just gives you a better background. I usually do a couple of layers just to really cover up that paint in the background. I also remove all those glue, hot glue strings because those are a pain. the hot glue gun come back in because I'm identifying some spots that need to be corrected or fill in where it might leak. Okay, I have my uh, resins mixed up. I didn't feel like you needed to watch that. 
I'm using a variety of colors. The resin that I'm using is um, Amazing Clear. I'll double check that. It's Amazing Clear. I will list everything in the description box, but I have a lot of different colors magenta, pearl, gold. Most of these are Vitari resins. So, just a variety of resin. And I'm going to start pouring.